From Cyrus to King Josiah, the evolution of Donald Trump. Donald Trump, a financially independent businessman with a family connection to the Hebrides revival in the late 1940s, is turning the career politician's world upside down. Starting out as a King Cyrus type who helped the Jews, see Ezra 1, like Jehu, he defeated a Jezebel type in his first election to president, see 2 Kings 9. Then, rebuilding the border wall to protect America from evil infiltration, he became a Nehemiah type, see Nehemiah 1. Now, with his latest move to bring back America to a God-centered foundation, see the upcoming video, he appears to be a Josiah type, 2 Kings 23. God's hand is on America and Donald Trump. The Lord has not forgotten the covenant he made with the Founding Fathers. Satan and his demonic forces want to take over the world. See Job 1 and Revelation 12. He tried through Nimrod, who built the Tower of Babel. Genesis 11. God, in his wisdom and foresight, created America for his divine purpose. While the devil, through Hitler, tried to take over the world yet again, and to annihilate God's firstborn, Israel, God used America to defeat Hitler and to support and protect Israel. I believe God is using America once again, this time to set the stage for world revivals and an unprecedented soul harvest before the rapture, the snatching away of true Christians for the wedding between Jesus as the groom and the church as his bride. See 1 Thessalonians 4.17 Let us keep praying for God's protection of all the people he has chosen to use at this time in history and for the fulfillment of his divine plan. Amen. Please see links below to a prophetic word about America and Donald Trump as well as a teaching on the last generation that will not pass away before all is fulfilled. To bring Christianity back into our lives and back into what will be again a great nation. Our founding fathers did a tremendous thing when they built America on Judeo-Christian values. Now that foundation is under attack, perhaps as never before. What can we do? Stand up, speak out, and pray that God will bless America again. I'm proud to endorse and encourage you to get this Bible. We must make America pray again. Pray, get educated, get motivated, and stand with me and the legions of Americans asking God to bless our great nation, to bring our great nation back, and to make America great again. I'm proud to partner with Lee in this offering. He's a very special man, both as a talent, but maybe even more so as a human being. He's very, very special. And I think you all should get a copy of God Bless the USA Bible Now and help spread our Christian values with others. There you have it. Let's make America pray again. God bless you and God bless the USA.